Galatians chapter 4, verse 6. Because ye are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. He said, we are the sons and daughters of God. We are children of God. Acts chapter 2, verses 38. And Peter said to them, repent, get baptized, every one of you, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For the forgiveness of your sins, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You've got to repent. You've got to get baptized in Jesus' name and receive the free gift of the Holy Ghost. That's why it makes you a child of God. John chapter 3, verses 5. And Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say unto you, lest one is born of the water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Romans chapter 8, verses 9. But you are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. If indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you, now if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. If you do not have the Holy Ghost, which is the Spirit of Jesus come living in you and dwelling in your mortal bodies, the Bible said you are none of his. And in verses 10 he said, And if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. He said, if, if Christ is in you, the body, the flesh has to die to sin. You know, these little offenses that, you know, Jesus was offended. He was wounded on the cross. They even took a sword and pierced his side. And he did not even whimper. He did not even cry. So your body has to be dead to sin. And how you know if, if, if it's the flesh or if it's, or if it's how you going you to know if it's the flesh? Because if somebody says something and do something to you and you react, that's the flesh. The flesh is still alive. So the flesh has to die. And verses 11 said, But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life into your mortal bodies. Though his spirit through his spirit who dwells in you. You see, Jesus is the author of life. He'll give you life. He'll give you, and that's what he does when he gives you the Holy Ghost. He sends forth the spirit of, of his son into your hearts, into your lives, crying, Abba, Father. Ephesians chapter 1, verses 5. He predestined us for adoption as sons through Jesus Christ according to the purposes of his will. It was predestined, it was pre-planned that God adopted you.